I love Street Fighter. So last video we discussed if Street Fighter 1 OG was any good. But before we get into today's video, I would like to thank our awesome sponsors. I've got no sponsors. But I want to thank my awesome subscribers. From the bottom of my heart, your support fuels my passion. Keep pushing this channel. So I'm forever thankful to you guys. Anyways, we are heading back to 1991 where it all began. So with a click of my fingers, we're going to head back to our expensive studio. Here we are, we're in the 90s baby. The 16-bit era has begun and the Mega Drive, Genesis and Super Nintendo are at war. Arnold Schwarzenegger said I'll be back in Terminator 2. I'll be back. Michael Jackson tried to eliminate racism with his hit song, Black or White, and Jeffrey Damon was arrested. And this is how much a Big Mac meal used to cost. And this is how Corolla used to look like. Amazing, right? Yeah, baby! <laughs> so it's been four years since the original release of Street Fighter. So Capcom began to make fighting game priority after Final Fight was commercially successful in the United States. So the original creator for Street Fighter OG, Takashi Nishiyama, had moved on and joined SNK, where he created legendary fighters such as Fatty Fury and King of Fighters. <laughs> So Capcom had created a new team with Norutaka Funamitsu taking charge and Akira Nishitani and Akira Yusada as a designer. So the sequel, Street Fighter 2, didn't just receive a minor upgrade, it received a massive upgrade. It received sick graphics, sick soundtrack, a sick roster with eight playable characters and four bosses. We also received our first female selectable character. I know what? Who allowed this to happen? <laughs> Got it. So enough talking, let's get into the game. So let me introduce you to Scott and Max. These guys are playable. So instantly booting up this game, this game is so damn nostalgic for me. It takes me back to a time when I was young and I, I used to hang out with my cousin all the time. We used to ride our BMX to Blockbusters and I would not eat my lunch and save up all my lunch money and whatever pocket money I had because I was, we grew up relatively poor to play Street Fighter. So I can remember the awesome atmosphere of Street Fighter 2 at Blockbusters. Every kid around the block, we used to gather up to machines and just put their coins on the arcade machines and yell out, I got next. Good old memories, good memories. But what's not good is the PTSD that I suffer. I can clearly remember wasting all my coins against that one character, Saget. I was convinced back then that Saget CPU was a cheater because his tiger up I was sending to Jesus. So today as an adult, I will conquer my childhood video game bully and face him. So I'm tempted to use Ken, the scrubby side of me, but nah, my inner fanboy, I'm gonna have to choose Ryu. Yeah, let's choose Ryu. Here we go. And here we have Dalsum, this Indian philanthropist with a stretch of limbs had only entered the tournament so he could raise money for poor villagers. That's a pretty cool dude, man. But the question is, why is he wearing the three skulls? Very sus, Capcom. Very sus. Let's go. We've got you, boy. We've got... Oh, okay. Oh, what? Dizzy. Don't do this to me, Sim. This stage is awesome but annoying at the same time, man, because them elephants shut the hell up. Oh my god, the timer. Let's get him. Come on, CPU. Ow. Shut up, elephants. So in the Western release of Street Fighter 2, Ryu's win quote says, you must defeat Shang Long to stand a chance. This led to many, many players thinking there's a secret selectable character named Shang Long in the game. And even the early days of trolling, Electronic Gaming Monthly magazine offered a complicated method of unlocking Shang Long. And this was all a joke. The correct translation for the quote, Shang Long was actually a translation error due to the fact of Shang Long in the Chinese version of Shoryu, parts of Ryu's Shoryuken or Rising Dragon Fist technique, 
correct translation is supposed to say, if you cannot overcome the rising dragon punch, you cannot win. So the EGM article was, a, was all an April Fool's hoax. So gamers like me trying to unlock Sheng Long was just an absolute waste of time. They got us good, well they got me good anyways. And here we have truly our first female fighting character. And she's from the Chinese Interpol. Just like Gao, she's also seeking revenge on Bison because she's got daddy issues. And so daddy would die by the hands of Bison. But for me, it was Tuesday. Easy. Oh man. This is the almighty Zangief. This Russian grappler specialised in wrestling and sambo. Believe it or not, he just wants to SPD Americans because he wants to prove that Mother Russia is the greatest. And if you ask him, he actually got it from fighting bears. For fun. What is it? What's wrong, sister? So guys, as a kid, I remember all the big, all the players used to say this. Jump back and do heavy kick or heavy punch. It still works! Come on. Come on. Come on. Easy. Easy. Let's go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, the car. I love the car. I forgot about the car. Imagine this being your car. You just comes and attacks it. Come on, yes, yes. And here we have Ken, which is Ryu's BFF and a former training partner. Pretty much is in this tournament because he spends too much time with his fiance, Eliza. And plus he has a very unhealthy obsession in trying to be better than Ryu. Ha! Gay! It's funny guys, cause Ken's been spamming sure you can since 1991. Eat that. As you can remember on my previous video, Street Fighter 1 OG special moves were so hard to pull off and the game was janked. So Capcom wanted to tweak it up a bit and make the special moves easier to pull off. By doing this, it opened the door for unintended, easily one of the greatest consequences and glitches of all time. It allowed your normal attacks to be cancelled into special moves, giving birth to combos. Oh no, it didn't work. <laughs> what? I'm dizzy. Come on, get up. Look, spamming sure you can, as always, Ken. But not good enough. You'll always be behind Ryu. Story wise, anyway. But in the game, Ken's freaking overpowered. In Street Fighter 6, anyways. So here we have E Honda, which is the E stands for Edwin, believe it or not. This big boy enters the World Warrior Tournament just trying to prove that Sumo is a legitimate martial artist. And this home has been cheap since 1991. That damn headbutt, man. Exactly the same as Street Fighter 6. Oh, that's right. Fireball and trip. I, I remember now we were jumping to the trip all the time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ah, oh, memories are coming back. Still works. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Ooh, okay. Chip him. Chip him. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Yeah. Here we have Guile, the all-American hero. This dude is so American that he doesn't just have one tattoo on his arm, he has two tattoos. That's American. So Guile's storyline is he's here to bash Bison as he seeks revenge because Bison killed his best friend, Charlie. Round one, fight. Remember there's a trick you um, do a lot, sure you can. It will bait him to do a somersault. That's, yep. Oh! Oh man! Oh, 
Light Shuriken? Oh no. Is it Light Shuriken? Go. Oh, too close. No. I don't know if you guys remember, but back in the arcades, handcuffs and invisible throw. That was dirty, man. So believe it or not, Street Fighter 2 became the biggest selling game since the golden age of arcade video games. By 1994, it has been played by an estimated 25 million people in the United States alone. That's not including Japan, Australia, everywhere around the world. More than 200,000 arcade cabinets were sold and 15 million software units of the version of Street Fighter 2 has been sold, grossing an estimated $10 billion in total revenue, making it one of the top highest grossing video games of all time. That is impressive. Very impressive. From a fighting game. Yes! Eat that. Come on, go. Eat that, boy. Ah, here we go. The barrel stage. Easy, guys. All you gotta do is press kick. Heavy kick. That's it. Easy. 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 Too easy. Very easy. Huh. Oh. Yes. Uh-huh. One. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh no! Ah, the one that got away. Haha! Oh, <laughs> and here we have Blanca. This Brazilian beast, his real name is actually Jimmy. It doesn't sound too threatening, does it? But believe it or not, Blanca is actually human. He was involved in a plane crash in Brazil, which resulted in him mutating green and receiving electrical powers. Yeah, man, that's science, bitch. Let's go, my Brazilian butterfly. Yes! Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Yes! Now we've entered the four bosses. We have Borok here. So just to let you know, the Japanese version of the game is actually called M. Bison. But to, to prevent Capcom from receiving a lawsuit, Mike Tyson, they did a name switcheroo, which this is now Borog, but we're gonna call him Boxer to avoid confusion. And this dude was once a former boxing champion, but he wanted to get rich in the scheme. So he joined Shadowloo. For a quick buck. Round one. Let's make a comeback. Yes! Oh, double KO! No way! Let's go perfect, come on! Yes! Here we have Vega, the Spanish bullfighter who also wields a badass claw and uses ninjutsu. And he's also a creep because he stalked Chong Lee. You gotta watch an animated movie to know what I'm talking about. This dude is a narcissistic and sadistic piece of work because he seeks to eliminate ugly guys. Street Fighter 2 is regarded one of the greatest video games of all time and most important and influential fighting game ever made. Oh, and also the game soundtrack has been considered one of the greatest of all time. And I second that. Oh. Yes, finally we beat him. Come on, man. Ah, this stage is easy. Easy. And 
Here we go, now we are gonna face my childhood bully. So during the first tournament, Ryu defeated Sagat by doing a sure you can to his chest, leaving him a massive scar, which he is deeply ashamed of and has that massive scar as a reminder every day of his defeat. So Sagat holds a massive grudge against Ryu, but not as massive as the grudge I hold against Sagat. So it's time to face my fears and conquer this trauma. Here we go. That's it. I'm not gonna let you bully me no more, Saget. No more. Saget, we got you this time, man. Finally, we are here. The final boss, M. Bice, this psycho powered titan, is also the leader of Shadowloo. Let's kick his ass for Chun Li and Zai. Oh, what? A few moments later. Yes! Yes! Come on, we did it! Let me know in the comments, guys, how many credits. Did it take for you to beat Street Fighter 2? What a warrior. So there you go guys, Street Fighter 2. Though it is still fun today, may not be the greatest game ever, but it is near and dear to my heart. And it's the reason why I started this channel. I'm no competitive player, I'm just a gamer like you, who is a passionate fan of Street Fighter. So just to recap, Street Fighter 2 is probably one of the greatest sequels ever and surpassed the original by milestone. But it did not end there. We were later treated with updated versions such as Champion Edition, where you can do mirror matches and select the four bosses. And then later we received, which is one of my greatest games of all time, Hyper Fighting Edition or Turbo Edition. Which, and the gameplay was actually faster and we, we received more different color palettes, which is pretty cool. And they also received a very fun bootleg edition, which I believe is called Rainbow Edition or some other country's Black Belt Edition. And then we received another massive update, Super Street Fighter 2, which we received the iconic The Legends, the four new characters such as Kami, Fei Long, DJ, and Tio. And then on the next edition, we received one of the greatest fighting character debuts ever, Akuma, in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, where they added a super bar and later on became one of the great competitive fighting games. So Street Fighter 2 was so successful in the 90s, was so iconic and successful in the 90s that it actually became pop culture. He also received a very cheesy and lovable action movie starring Van Damme and a godlike animation which then influenced another series which we'll talk about next week, Street Fighter Alpha. So see you in the next video. Peace! <laughs>